All right, in this screencast, I'm going to show you real quick how to insert an armature into your character. I'm going to assume that you've built a character that looks somewhat like mine. And if we toggle over to Edit View here, we'll see that I've actually broken this down so that there are actually um, vertices about where I'd have an elbow or a knee or a hip. I've built this entire model by extruding the body out from a sphere piece by piece. Um, what we're going to do to start with here is we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to hit the A key to deselect everything. And then I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add an armature. This creates an armature which we can't see very well right now. If we, but if we look down in the editing options for the armature, if we turn on X-ray, and I'm also going to turn on Auto Inverse Kinematics, which basically means that the, if I move one bone, all the bones will move with it. And I'm going to turn off envelopes. We're going to use only vertex groups here. I'll, we'll talk about that in a second. What I'm going to do is we're going to pan up here. Right now I've got a single bone, which is more or less, we can think of this as my lumbar spine. And I'm going to scroll this down so it starts right there about my coccyx and goes up to the bottom of my rib cage. And I'm going to hit tab to switch into the um, into edit mode. And I'm actually going to extrude more bones out of this. If I don't extrude them, they won't be connected to each other. They'll be separate armatures, so they won't they won't connect to each other, and we won't be able to move 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 the bones together. They'll move independently and just sort of pull apart our model. So to, to make make this clear, I I can select the bone, or I can select the little ball at each end of it, and I'm going to select the ball at the point tip here, and I'm going to extrude a thoracic vertebra or thoracic spine right here. And if you look down there at the bottom, you can see how DX is wavering back and forth. If I, I got it to zero right there, and that, that meant that this is perfectly vertical right now. That's a little bit of OCD that you may not need to worry about. Let me scroll down. You can watch it on the next one, because the next thing I'm going to extrude here from the top of my thoracic vertebrae, this second bone, is a little bone for the um, cervical spine, the neck. And you can see DX is 0, DY is 0, and DZ is about 0 0.4, 0 0.3919. So it's a little short bone right there. I'm now going to go back and I'm going to extrude out the bones for the shoulder by selecting the top of the thoracic vertebrae, the second bone here, extruding a bone out to the, about where the shoulder would be. I'm going to extrude again again. Every time I extrude, I'm just hitting E to extrude. I'm going to extrude out the, f uh, the upper arm here to about where the elbow should be. And then I'm going to extrude out the forearm. I'm going to leave a little handle outside the hand so I can grab it easily, even if the x-ray is not turned on. I'm going to do the same thing down the other side of the body. And if I were truly doing a good job here, I would carefully make sure that these were symmetrical. There are actually tools to do that. But for right now, for our purposes, this is not real important. I'm not going to go back down to the bottom of my lumbar spine and take the bottom half of this. I'm going to extrude out some hip joints and go down, extrude a thigh and a shin. I'm going to put that right down in the foot. In a second, I'll show you, show you how I'm going to use that. I'm going to extrude out another hip joint and another thigh and another foot. Right, this is all useful. And then I'm going to look over on this my side view, which I've kept open in a split pane, which I can I can you know I don't have to do that. I could just switch in here to a side view. Let me let's see. So there we go. Side view, and I'm going to extrude out a foot bone, and I'm going to leave a little grip. You see how ball's just outside the toe. I'm going to extrude that out the front there. And, in fact, if we go look at this in camera view, we can see I've extruded that out of the right foot. I still need to extrude the left foot. So I'm going to go back into that side view again. Oops, side view. And extrude another, another foot bone out that's more or less the same place. Camera view, we can see now I've got the left foot extruded. So now I've got bones all the way through here, except for what? The head. So I'm going to go back in and pick the top of the cervical spine and extrude a head bone out again, trying to do it straight up so that my DX is zero. And I left a little handle at the top there. 
And if we look at this guy from the side, we can see that these are more or less running down the middle of them. We, if we were feeling particularly fancy pants here, we might slide his hip bones back a little bit or take, you know, put a little curve in his spine. That's an entirely up to you. I'm not really going to worry about that very much. I'm just going to have him straight up and down. Um, so having done this, we now need to go in, and we're going to go back to that front view for a second. We now need to go in and name these bones, because that's how we're going to connect vertex groups to them. So I'm going to start here, and I'm keeping my, in a separate pane, I'm keeping my, my camera view open so I can see which side of the body I'm on, which makes it a lot easier. Because in fact, this guy's facing the wrong way for me, because I was sloppy as I built my model. But right here, I've got his right arm selected, or right forearm. So I'm actually going to go down into my button panel here and name this bone forearm.r for right. And then I'm going to select his upper arm. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to name that upper arm.r. For the right upper arm. And the reason I'm doing this, here I'll show you, we'll skip ahead a couple steps, is that I'm going to tab back to object view, 